I got an update video for you. I'm off to go get the BMW cleaned after the road trip, but <laughs> I feel like this situation like never ever ends, man. Um, got a text message from the Houston GM, William Grange, this morning, saying, "Hey, Ryan needs to get a hold of you." Cool. Then he said, "You know, he was gonna ha he was gonna call, or you know, can I did I have a moment to talk?" And then nothing. Uh, I didn't see them. I had I hadn't even got up yet. You know me. I just got home. You know, doing all that driving, doing all that craziness. I'm I'm by, I'm by the sleep. You already know what it was. Six Modellos and night night. So oh, yesterday they were gonna auction the car. Now who knows? <laughs> back to TK's garage and in today's video uh, we're just giving you guys another update on the situation so got a got a like I said at the beginning here at the intro got a couple of um, text messages in this morning you know explaining what was going on with the situation and that the exact text let me read it I know you're gonna be like oh I can't believe you're doing that <clears throat> let me uh, initiate my Adaptive cruise. All right, so yeah, this thing keeps itself in the lane. It does all that stuff automatically. So let me get over here and get to the text messages. All right, so the message I get from Ryan states, I guess our offer of auctioning the demon off and sending all profits to charity is causing an issue with some folks. Everybody's not going to be happy about whatever the resolution is. That's just a fact. It is what it is. But that's what it is. But anyways, uh, he continues, we will do whatever Cody decides uh, with the vehicle. So whatever the active duty service member decides to do uh, with the vehicle, they will do so. If they want to auction it, they'll auction it. If they won't, they won't. I don't know who some people are i don't know if that's dodge i don't know if it's them looking at the comments and y'all are still telling people to eat dicks i don't know um i know that yesterday i felt really good about the situation i saw the facebook post um which i'm gonna include here Today's video, guys, is being brought to you by Morgan & Morgan. You can start a claim today in eight clicks or less, literally from anywhere, in your car, at home, laying in bed, at the bar, literally anywhere you can start a claim. It is ridiculous. And when you're looking for a personal injury attorney, size matters. Morgan & Morgan is the largest personal injury law firm in the world. And uh, when you want somebody like that, you want that big Goliath to be able to go to bat for you, that's them. Go get started today. Go check it out. ForThePeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. ForThePeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. And I appreciate Morgan & Morgan for allowing me to do what I do. In the Facebook post, they basically talk about issues that happened, how they had cleaned house, what they were doing to make it right. And in the Facebook post, they said they're gonna wholesale the car and donate all proceeds of the vehicle to uh, charity. I don't know if that's still the situation or not. I gotta wait to hear. Um, as you can see, it's cloudy here in Las Vegas. It's not bad, but 
I got to go get this thing detailed and get the salt and stuff off the from the roads off of that off the car um, get her nice and cleaned up but um yeah I was um, I was taken aback by that I had literally just got up and had just got my coffee and was just pouring the Bailey's in it when I got that text message it just was like oh damn really my phone is setting off the seatbelt uh, that's a sensitive sensor anyways uh oh so anywho's we um we get the information you know I got the information in and I just was like whatever I went back and forth with Ryan via text and was like look if people are look if people are concerned about how the auction would go down or how it would be handled that is completely understandable and I was like look I was like I know people at Barry Jackson I know people at Copart obviously I know people at IAA uh oh we got a trooper coming fast Oof. Get out the way, dumbass. I love those people that just sit there when a the cop runs up their ass and gets behind them and don't move. Like, he wasn't pulling you over. Just move, bro. <laughs> I'm not even going to say who was driving that car. I already know. Y'all are going to... Because if you're from Las Vegas and you see people that can't drive, I already know what y'all are going to comment. I already know. I don't even have to say it. I don't, I don't even have to say it. I don't. I don't have to do it. Ain't going to cancel me. Not me. Nope. Not going to happen. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, anyways. So, you know, I texted him and I, you know, I, and I said, uh, you know, what the situation is. And I even recommended, you know, I know that. Uh, Butter the Insider also lost his allocation, you know, with an issue uh, from another dealership group uh, earlier this year, right? Like, I know that they did him dirty or whatever, and I was like, you know what? Maybe it would be cool for, for Butter the Insider to buy the car. Um, I don't know. But I just thought it was interesting. Like, I thought pretty much everything was settled as far as that was concerned yesterday uh you know they also mentioned in their facebook post which i showed you guys here that they um that they uh you know they knew about the the tim caniscus and the jay leno uh situation and that they were uh you know getting that situated oh wow ouch Well, that's what that was. Somebody must have hit somebody and smashed somebody into the wall. Oof. You know, I don't joke when I say that about Vegas, that you can't have nice things here. And if you have a nice, if you have nice things here and you daily drive, expect to get hit at some point. I've had more rear end accidents in my, what, three years, four years living here full time than I have at any other point in my life like just insane insane the driving here is ridiculous but anyways so i don't know what the situation is now obviously i don't think they're going to auction it at this point unless you know the active duty service member says auction it um i don't know if they're going to wholesale it you know i think that's different than what they had said to me yesterday total totally different um different outcome look for me the biggest thing for me in this story was that the dealership made things right and they did do that with Ryan and Larry right they got their demons they got that stuff taken care of I appreciate that I really do um I don't know what's going to happen with this last demon, with this green demon. I mean, this demon does have some notoriety at this point. I think a fitting end to the story, if they're not going to auction it off, is, you know, sell it to Butter the Insider. Use it as a, a, a promotional thing. I know 
Butter said, you know, he'd, he'd want he wants everybody to like sign the car, make it like a a promotional thing. You know, I, I I don't know. I just I'm really at a loss for words over the situation. It's craziness. What do you guys think uh, should happen with the car? I already know a lot of you guys are like they should just eat the whole cost of the car and give it to the soldier. Like I get it. I get what you're where you're coming from on that. Um, and considering some of the things that have happened, I understand, right? I get it. Um, it's not realistic, though. <laughs> it's not. It's not realistic. I don't think any dealer was going to do that. I, they would get roasted before they just give up two hundred grand. It's not going to happen. Or one hundred and thirty-four grand, or whatever the sticker is. You know, the invoice in that car is probably. Maybe if the car is like 134 grand, let's say the invoice on that car is 118 or something, you know, the dealership still makes money. Let me just put it like that. But I don't think they're going to take a complete loss on the car. I mean, it would be awesome if that happened. It would kind of, I mean, if Mack Hike is really trying to like get some public positive PR, I mean, they could straight up give that car to the active duty service member and it would kind of jump whatever Tim Kaniskis and Jay Leno were doing because he still has to buy the car to get that. I, me personally, if I'm in that situation, I'm probably still going the Jay Leno uh, Tim Kaniskis route because it's 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 a one it, it's a one of one car. That demon, it's gonna be featured on Leno's garage. It's gonna be worth it it's going to be a special car. It's like it's like a black ghost. It's like it's like Demonology's Soul Snatcher, right? It's one of those Mopars that are going to be it's it's an instant classic and it's instantly going to be worth more money than he paid for it. No doubt at all, right? You know, it's like Bill Goldberg's car with the gold flake. It's just different. And it's gonna be a different Mopar, and I, you know, I think that's the best route for them to go. But I mean, it would be cool if they offered it up for free. I, not going to happen, but uh, it would be cool to see what happens, man. You know, Butter could get it. Butter the Insider could get it. Um, I don't know. I know uh, me and Lucky Lopez were talking about doing something with that car. Um, you know, I know a lot of you guys are saying raffle it, raffle it, like sell T-shirts and hats or coffee mugs or whatever, and let a let a person that spends twenty bucks get an opportunity to win a Demo One Seventy. I think that's an awesome idea. I floated that idea as well to um, to Ryan uh, at Mac Hike, and I told him I said, you know what, you could do that. You could definitely do that, and probably make a lot more money for charity than you would even if you auctioned it right think about it i mean if you you're doing a merch raffle for that car i mean some of the things that 8080 does or uh, 717 supply you know uh street speed 717 you know they uh that is that is the correct method of doing that if you're going to do that with a car right i think that would be huge i really do i think that would be I think that would be awesome. I think that would be huge, and I think it would um, it would put things in the right place, right? It, it would give somebody a shot to win that car. Um, but I also respect where Ryan is coming from, saying, "Hey, we're not going to auction it for charity because people have an issue with it." Whatever. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It could be just a BS response, but whatever. But I do respect that he's saying, hey, we're going to do whatever the active duty service member wants to do with that car. That, yeah, I respect that. So there you guys have it, man. A little rambling. We're a little all over the place because that was crazy. Like just another day, another accident on 215 here in Las Vegas. Happens every time when I'm coming out of Summerlin and I'm, I'm coming, down the, coming down the mountain, so to speak. Crash, crash. Every day somebody's eating it out here, man. Oh, anyways. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I am on my way back to go get back to my scumbaggery at Caesars Palace. Uh, so you know what I'm doing today. I got, I got games to bet on, things to do for the uh, gambling channel. 
Uh, you guys can go check that out if you want, Degenerate Winners. I got a bunch of content from all the casinos I hit while we were traveling across the country. Uh, should be interesting. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Let me know what you guys think of the comment section down below. Thank you guys for all the love and support uh, over this entire issue. I really appreciate it. All the new subscribers, all the people that watch these videos. I truly appreciate y'all. And um, I appreciate you guys applying the pressure. Like, I'm just giving you the info. It's you guys that applied the pressure and put the information out there that made things change at that dealership. So don't forget that. And major shout out again to Butter the Insider because, like I said, without him, I wouldn't have known. Also, go check out some of the new videos over at OC Motivator on his YouTube channel. He's already uh, taken care of another issue with a dealer with a car, which I think is very... Uh, a very valuable thing to do. I've got a ton of emails from you guys at the email address that I set up, uh, TK's Garage Dealer Issues at gmail.com. I will be getting into those issues. And like I said, if you have any questions, comments, things of that nature, uh, and you had a problem, you know, similar like you had an allocation that was taken away from you, or you know, you got a dealer trying to charge you 150k over sticker or some wild ass shit, feel free to send me a send me an email and we'll see if we can uh resolve that issue anyways thank you guys very much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one